Hi guys, Fisher here from Recharge Wrestling. You probably saw Keeney's video earlier about Royal Rumble predictions, but it's my turn now. Um, I have watched his video, but I'm not going to, you know, I already have my mind made up on the matches anyway, so I'm not going to copy any of his ideas or anything, so you don't have to worry about that. You can join in on Twitter. Um, we should have our predictions tweet up Thursday with the card, um, and you can give us your predictions, or you can message us directly if you prefer. But yeah, there will be a thread. Thank you to all those that participated last time. Um, hopefully you'll all participate again and do well. Um, yeah, good luck to everybody. So this is my thoughts. So first of all, I'm going to start with um, Becky Lynch versus Dewdrop because Keeney had that as well as his first match. Um, I'm going to agree with him on this one and say that Becky Lynch is going to retain the title. Um, Dewdrop has done really well recently and she's... You know, she deserves a spot in this position as a challenger, but I think it's too soon to put the title on her. I also don't see them taking the title off of Becky Lynch before WrestleMania um, at all. Um, I, I'll get to my Rumble predictions later, but it wouldn't surprise me if at the at the uh, the Rumble winner faces Becky Lynch for the championship and possibly beats her then. But um, yeah, we'll see how that we'll see how that goes. Um, so definitely, definitely Becky for that one. Um, uh, match number two is Miz and Maurice versus Edge and Beth Phoenix. And, um, yeah, some shenanigans on Raw yesterday. I thought it was a really good, uh, closing segment. Obviously they've had a one, Edge and Miz had a one-on-one -on -one match, um, at the last pay-per-view. Edge got the win. Um, and I, I don't see... Um, Miz and Maurice winning this. I think Edge and Beth are gonna, it's Beth's first match back as well. I, I just think um, they're too strong. Um, they may the only way they may do is um, shenanigans in the match. Obviously, Miz, Miz and Maurice do something clever and and win that way. But I think Edge and Beth win. I can see them maybe entering the Rumble matches and Miz and Maurice maybe getting the revenge or something in the Rumble. Maybe Maurice eliminates Beth or causes her to get eliminated. Something like that. There's a few spots left in the women's match, so. That wouldn't surprise me. Um, so I think maybe we could get something like that later on in the show, um, depending on where they are on the card, obviously. Uh, it may not work out that way. Um, but, yeah, uh, that's what I think. I think um, we'll see uh, Beth and Edge pick up the win. Um, then we've got the two title matches. So Bobby Lashley and um, Brock Lesnar. This is a 50-50 match. I know Keeney went for Lashley to win the title. I'm going to go for Brock to retain. Um, I'm not sure on either of these matches, but I'm just playing the safe card and going for the champion to retain here. Um, I do see a possibility where Roman and Brock face at Mania. I do see a possibility where they don't face at Mania. Um, but, yeah, Brock has only just won the title, and he hasn't really won, other than that match, he hasn't won many matches because, obviously, he lost in his few two reigns. So maybe he should win here, although I would have no complaints if Lashley obviously won the title back and then Brock maybe faces Roman at Mania or something like that. Um, or Seth if he wins. Who, who knows? But um, yeah, I'm going to go for um, Brock Lesnar to retain here. Um, yeah. And then Seth and uh, Roman. I'm going to go for Roman to retain. Now, it's odd because obviously a lot of people speculate in that Roman and Seth will face at Mania. Now, if obviously if they're going to do that, one of them really should lose the title. Although it wouldn't surprise me if they did a unification at this point either, which people have mentioned in, in the past. Um, but I think there's still an opportunity in the Elimination Chamber for one of them to, to do something because there's the Saudi show, um, Saudi Arabia show with the, the Elimination Chamber. So I can see there being... Some something big happening there as well. So I'm just going to say, just for safe reasons more than anything, although I can definitely see one of the titles changing, that both Roman and Brock are going to retain here, although I do think there's a strong possibility one of them drops the title, but I don't know which one. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going to um, hope that I at least get one right out of the two or maybe both of them. Um, yeah, that's my answer to that. Um, it's quite a boring thing to predict, I suppose, but it's you know, it's different to Keeney's at least, and it's, um, it's I see it as a safe option. I'm really looking forward to both those matches. I think they're great title matches to have on the show. 
Um, and like Kenny pointed out, they could even play into the Rumble with whoever loses the matches. But we'll get to that when I talk about my Royal Rumble match predictions themselves. Um, and that, so um, the Rumble, the Women's Rumble, I uh, I think we um, we could get a, an unannounced participant. I think 21 women have been announced here. So I think you, there's a good chance there's an unannounced winner. Out of the... F- 21 people announced. I am going to agree with Keeney on that one and say that uh, Bianca Belair is the strong favourite. Um, she's been built like a Rumble winner. She has reason. She has beef with Becky. Becky cost her the number one contenders match on Raw, so it may, would make sense for Becky uh, Bianca to. And obviously, Becky beating Bianca for the title at SummerSlam in like seconds, so it gives up opportunity for Bianca to come back and get her revenge. So I could see them doing that story. Um, so yeah, I, one of my picks is definitely going to be Bianca Belair. Um, my second pick, I'm going to go a bit wild on, uh, because I think Bianca is the strong favorite, to be honest. Just sorry, my hair. Um, yeah, so my second one, I'm going to go for Ronda Rousey. Um, I think it, there's a chance she's coming back to WWE. If she's coming back to WWE, then I think she'll be in a big title match at Mania. Um, and what better way to give it to her than obviously having to win the Rumble. She hasn't won it before. She um, was champion going into the last time um, she defended it. And obviously she made a debut out of Royal Rumble pay-per-view but just by pointing at the WrestleMania sign. So I can see them maybe bringing Ronda back and having her win it. I do think there's a possibility that maybe uh, someone like a Bailey returns and wins it as well, or even an Alexa Bliss. Um, Rhea Ripley has an outside chance, I think, based on she did get a, like a strong showing on Raw. But I, I don't think it's her time right now. Um, Lita's another possibility. I do think there's a possibility Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks would have been my number one pick to win the Royal Rumble. But with her being injured and apparently ruled out, I don't see her winning it, uh, unfortunately. I do think there's still a chance that she faces... I think Bianca or Ronda will face Becky at Mania. And then the other match will probably end up being Charlotte and Sasha one way or another. Uh, maybe they do an elimination number one contenders match at the elimination chamber or something like that, and, and Sasha can win there to set up the match with Charlotte. And then finally onto the men's rumble, I think here is very very unpredictable and it's great. I know Keeney mentioned on his video that there's no obvious winners this year. I think the men's one especially, there's no one that's been placed really obviously to to win it. Um, I've changed my mind on this a lot of times. Um, I'm definitely not going for Austin Theory. I, I, I thought that was an out there one. Um, personally, I think I, I'll give a little prediction on where I think that storyline's going. I actually think we're going to get Austin and because he's got a relationship with Vince. I don't think that's a world title storyline. I think we're getting a storyline going into WrestleMania where Stone Cold Steve Austin is um, hosting it. And I think you can say maybe do a segment with the, the two Austins and McMahon and, and something there. I don't, I don't know, but that's just my, me speculating. I don't think it's world, he's world title already. And I think putting the rumble on him at this point would be way too early. Um, but it would create a new big star. I just don't see him in a world title match against someone like Brock or Roman at this point. Um, no, not for me. So <clears throat> there was a few options. Um, we did mention on the podcast a lot that, you know, one of the win, uh, losers from the day one match, Seth, um, Lashley, Rollins, or um, KO might might have a chance of it. I think Big E as well um, has a chance. Drew coming back is a possibility. Someone like Goldberg or Cena turning up, you never know, could turn up and win it. Edge, again, I don't see that one, though, at the, right now, especially with having the mixed tag. So my number one pick, well, they're both, they're both you know, you have two picks and they're both the same, essentially. But my first pick is going to be be Kevin Owens. Now, I know he um, is in a US title feud with Damien Priest, but I think you can easily have him win the Rumble and then hit do some weird storyline where he wants to go and win both titles. He lo- doesn't win the United States title from Damien Priest. Um, but you could eventually get to Rollins and Owens possibly if, if Rollins won the title and with Owens signing a new contract to stay with WWE I can see them giving him something big and that is why he's one of my picks um, my other pick I'm torn between two people um, ooh, who do I go for I'm going to go for AJ Styles 
Now, I nearly went for Big E. Big E was my other choice, and I know Keeney went for him. It does feel like he dropped the title too soon. He could easily get a big win at the Rumble, go after Roman, perhaps, uh, um, WrestleMania. But I'm going to go for AJ Styles, because he's kind of just been bumbling under the surface, but he got a, he had a great match on Raw with Austin Theory. He's now wrestling as a babyface, and I can see him having a resurgence, maybe going over to SmackDown and facing Roman for the title as a, as a shock match that no one's expecting. So I'm going to go for that. But it wouldn't surprise me, like Keely said, if one of Roman or Brock enters the Rumble wins or even Lashley. Um, but my picks are going to be Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. But honestly, I have no idea for the men's. Um, catch Krusty's one hopefully tomorrow or later in the week. Keep an eye on our Twitter for interaction for your um, to, to do your picks. Um, and we'll put our picks as well on Twitter in written form. But yeah, so this is just a quick video to, to give my thoughts on the Rumble picks. Hope you enjoyed it.